Good morning. Glad you could join me today for my new schedule. My new schedule of reading on um, Tuesdays and Fridays live at 10 a.m. Pacific time. Today I'm going to read Jesse's Indigestible Incident, but I want to do a I don't know if a sneak peek is the right word to use, but a sneak read of just the very beginning of the new book. It's being, it's in the process right now of being uh, put together. So the, um, the illustrations are finished and um, I've done many edits, but I know there's going to be many more. So this might not be word for word what it's going to start out like, but it's called Gotcha, and it's all about Jessie's Gotcha Day and all the food that she eats and a trip that she takes in her dreams. So here we go. Just the first uh, couple sentences here. It's my Gotcha Day. Every year we celebrate, there's lots of pictures involved here, the day my forever family adopted me. Whew, sorry, I just got really excited. In my family, we call it the Zoomies. Lots of dogs like me get them. It's just another one of those amazing things about me. Just thinking about that special day I left the shelter makes my tail go thump, thump, thump. It's my favorite day of the year. And let's be honest, I deserve all the attention. Um, I am Jessie. So, just a very little bit of the beginning of our book. Book three for Jessie. Yay! All right, Jessie's Indigestible Incident. Glad you could join me. All right. Well, hello. Remember me? I'm sure you do. I'm that gorgeous celebrity that everyone who's anyone is talking about. That's right, I'm Jessie. No? I'm the one with the lopsided ears, one up and one down, and a cute beauty mark on my nose and chest. Still no? I have my own special style when I walk. It's almost like dancing. A little bit of walking, a little bit of wagging my beautiful tail. Let's call it waggling. Just another of my unique talents. Still don't remember? Where have you been? Hmm, I know, I know. I'm the one with the funny whiskers, one side black, the other white. I knew you'd remember me. How could you not remember the gorgeous pit bull with the pink feather boa? There is no other. Just a little old exceptional me. On with my story. Ever since my mom found me at the shelter, I've had this little issue where I gobble my food. I don't know why, but nobody, and I mean nobody, is going to eat my food. Probably comes from having to eat whatever I could find when I lived on the streets. Well, on this particular day, I refused to eat anything. My mom knew something was wrong because, well, me not eating. So she took me to the vet er mare Let's just call him the vet, much easier. Now, I don't like to go to the vet's office. Don't get me wrong, he's nice and all. I just don't like that he has to pay attention to the other dogs. I mean, I'm Jesse. Why does he have to be nice to the others? I'm Jesse, enough said. Pet me, Jesse. When we got there, I tried to give my usual hello by wagging my tail, but I couldn't get my wag up to speed. It just sort of flopped from side to side. 
He offered me a nice little treat, but I refused to have anything to do with it. Again, not something I would normally do. I love treats. They walked me from the exam room to the back of the hospital where they had this machine that could look at my insides. They called it an x-ray. It could tell if something was wrong in there, but he said nothing looked strange. If you ask me, looking at someone's insides is strange all by itself. They sent us home. I still didn't feel like eating. Mom tried beef and rice. Nope. She tried feeding me boiled chicken. Nope. She even tried Alaskan cod, my most, mostest, very favorite food in the whole world. Still, nope. So, the very next day, it was back to the emergency pet hospital. It was horrible. Mom cried because she was so worried. I was getting weak. It, I didn't even want to drink water. This is where it gets a little embarrassing. Mom had to carry me because I could hardly stand up. The emergency vet wanted to do something called a surgery. He thought I had something in my insides that caused an infection. Now, I don't know what a surgery is, and I don't know what an infection is. All I knew was that I didn't feel good. I wanted to go home. When they admitted me to the hospital, they wrote American Pit Bull Terrier on my paperwork. Not this again. We're just like any other dog. Most of us are just happy to have someone to love. One of the techs had a pit bull at home. She was extra nice. She called me a velvet hippo. She said it was a nickname for pit bulls because her hair is so soft and shiny, like velvet. Also, our big heads and short squatty bodies make us kind of look like a hippopotamus. I like hippos even though I never saw one, a real one anyway. I don't see the resemblance, or at least not with me. Hippo. Anyway, I was hungry, but food just didn't sound good. I started thinking about what I had done in the last few days. There was that business card that I ate and that tissue I scarfed from the trash can. Those were no problem. I had eaten plenty of them before. Funny. A couple of days earlier, I was sniffing around the house, smelling all the smells like I normally do. I found this extra stinky sock in the clothes hamper. Now I love to chew on soft things. That's why all the blankets in our house have holes in them. This sock was one of mom's. I could smell her and it was extra soft. I picked it up with my mouth and out the door I ran. Sometimes mom sees me with socks and just as I start to get them down my throat, she pulls them out. I know, it's a bad habit, but I can't be entirely perfect, can I? This time, I got away with it. I swallowed the sock whole. That must be what is making me sick. That nice little extra stinky sock was stuck inside me. I got to thinking about other things I had eaten. There was that $20 bill on the table. That came out. And that stinky glove in the garden. Chewed the fingers and thumb off. They all came out. 
I even ate a part of a TV remote. That came out too. Somehow they had all come out. Why was this sock making me feel so sick? The next thing I remember was the text petting and talking to me. They were so nice. I must have fallen asleep. When I woke up, I felt different. I had tubes attached to my paws and all my beautiful hair was gone from my belly. And I had small silver lines all over my tummy. They kind of looked like jewelry. Is that what I look like under my hair? What happened while I was asleep? Surgery? Anyway, I was very tired and I still didn't want to eat. They offered me boiled chicken. No, they offered me beef and rice. No, they didn't have any Alaskan cod, so they offered me canned cat food. Now that is so stinky. I usually can't resist, but not this time. Everything they offered me looked like socks. Socks in a bowl. Yummy. Not. Chicken was white socks. The beef and rice were striped socks. And the cat food was brown socks. Yuck. I was not going to eat a bowl of socks. Ew. Would they really feed her socks? The tech took me out of my cage and we slowly and carefully walked down the hall to a small room. I had to be careful because I still had that tube taped to my paw and all that jewelry on my tummy was not comfortable at all. Once we got into the room, guess what? My mom was there. I was so happy to see her. I couldn't jump up, so I just wagged my tail as best I could. I held my gorgeous ears back so she could pat my face. She put a bowl of something on the floor and sat right there next to me. She was petting me and talking to me, and guess what? In the bowl was my favorite, you guessed it, Alaskan cod. My mom brought Alaskan cod to the emergency hospital for me. I forgot all about the bowls of socks they tried to feed me. Suddenly, I felt better. I ate everything in the bowl while mom was talking away. It was really nice to hear her voice. Ah, she sure loves you, the tech said. I thought, yes. Yes, I do. Even more than I love Alaskan cod. I walked out of there with a little extra wiggle in my waggle, probably because of all that jewelry. When we got home, I noticed we had a new clothes hamper. One where the lid snapped shut. Thank goodness. Well, I guess that's the end of my sock tale. Next time, I'll tell you about another one of my adventures. And you already heard the beginning of it. Gotcha. Here's my, my draft, my edits. Getting printed now, getting put together, and I will keep you updated and keep you posted as we make progress. So things are just a little different and a little slow now, as with everything else. Well, stay safe, stay healthy, stay home, and have a great day. I will see you again on Friday at 10. Thanks for watching. Bye.